What's your name? Adrian. From hey. Town Brewery. Sorry, guys. Here, oh, get you out of the way. Sorry. We're blocking the folks who are trying to yeah, go about from, their business. Uh, from Town Brewery. Uh-huh. Uh, so what is Town Brewery? So, yeah, we're a, we're a brewery out in uh, Whitby. Really? Yeah, so we're out in Whitby, about 45 or so from here, um, going east. Uh, but yeah, so now we're down here, Frank and Oak. Mm -hmm. uh, we've partnered with Frank and Oak in the past, and this time around, decided to do a little bit of a bigger partnership. So we brought the beer garden kind of patio, occupying their space. So we're here for the weekend. So this is your brewery? This is not my brewery. I just talk like it is. Oh, it's not, <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for you to say, yeah, we founded the beer brewery. And so when were you talking about the history of the brewery then? Yeah, so it's been it's been seven years uh, coming up for us. Um, we started off with a couple of uh, beers. In those seven years, we have one of them here, actually. If you want to swing down, I'll show you. Sure, I'll Come go on with down. you. So, yeah, kind of occupy this space. Put some nice little flowers and plants and so forth. Sorry. So, this one right here. Uh, this is Square Wheels. Uh -huh. um, this has been a day one. Been seven years for this one. We've tweaked the heck out of it for years. And about a year and a half, two years ago, I said we were done tweaking it just let's be what it is and when you so, tweak it when tweak, what does tweaking do what do you mean what, what it's what do just tweaking the, the formula the formula of, of the beer um mm -hmm. using different types of hops seeing how it is adding more hops in um like the brewing process just in general mm -hmm. um so with that we said okay we're done um you just gotta leave it alone you know right, right, you, you right. got your you got your perfectionist that you know in wine or whatever it is feel that they do and they always want to continue going. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. one more year, one more year. It's like, no, just it's done. It's done. Leave okay. it alone. Okay. All right. So this one, you got some nice um, tangerine, grapefruit, some like okay. little pine vibes. Okay. So it's a hazy IPA. Um, really, go really gorgeous. Nice and bright, but uh, still easy to drink good, for this good. one, right? And yeah, we just brought some other ones too. So we have four different ones. Quick one, a nice lager. Mm -hmm. uh, very crisp, easy to drink, 4%. Um, outside Jokes, the blue one. Um, this one is going to be more on the pineapple um, kind of floral side mm -hmm. of a uh, pale ale. So a little bit juicier than Square Wheels, mm -hmm. but also 5% that you can just kill throughout the summertime. Okay. Right? And hot you, knives. Hot knives. If you want something that is bold, big, double IPA that's going to put you in your ass, is this bad boy right here so 8.3 for this one um but much more on the tropical uh mm -hmm. vibe so you can get a lot of those stone fruit kind of flavors that comes through um like peach kind of like those berries all those uh beautiful flavors that you're used to in the tropicals right mm -hmm. so if it's not your brewery how did you get involved because you're as you said you talk like it's yours so I'm the, uh, I, so i say i've been with a brewery for seven years mm -hmm. um technically really i've only been with them for three okay. i drank for four of them okay <laughs> but now i'm the brand ambassador All so right. i was um over at town um serving and then i became the supervisor there and uh, a few months ago you know i was pitched this job proposal i said i i want to be the brand ambassador for town mm -hmm. i was always out there anyways within the public festivals events pop-up space um and this is my vibe i love the get down to the nitty gritty in the wild, talk to the people. Oh, yeah. Great. You know what I mean? And show them what we're all about, right? Because yeah, right. I, mean, I mean, part of my was like, oh, a black owned brewery? What? I know there's a few around, but is this the, one of them there's too? A, there's, a few, there's a few around. But this there's, one isn't. This one is not. Okay. But um, we, we, we occupy the space for anybody that's welcome. Doesn't that's matter great. who, uh, no, listen, you're what here, your background. You're back in front of me. You're doing yeah. a great job selling this. Thank you. And I saw that they've got cocktails too, so you can make, use the beer to make cocktails. So the, co so the cocktails, oh, these, these are, you know, I've seen these before because down at um, Union Station when I come through, yes. they had some stuff presents there. They, right? they, so they just um, opened up that location yeah. recently down there, right? Yeah. Uh, this is Collective Arts. Um, so this is not ours. Um, oh, it's okay. A, it's a different brewery. Right, right. Um, but within the brewery, the brewery kind of community um everybody sticks together a lot That's of people nice. stick together we have to support each other for what it is because we're the the ones that are you know going to be more on the creative oh, side right right, right. Things compared to the bigger guys but there's always a space for everybody right brilliant. big guys have their space for whoever wants to drink their stuff and whoever wants to drink craft beer stuff right brilliant, brilliant. so this we just kind of brought in um the collective arts so just four different cocktails um that we uh brought down and using from them so a lot of options for people that don't drink beer, right? Right, 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 right. And then these two are ours. These are our um, uh, non-alc. Right. So we just started putting out non-alc a couple months ago. Um, Easy Tiger was the first one. 
that we put out a couple months ago. Uh, lager that's easy to drink, mm -hmm. uh, 0.5 percent, but you're gonna get more of those um, kind of bready undertones mm -hmm. with a little bit of sweetness up on top. So really fantastic lager. I love to drink it in between dinner. Like if I'm drinking uh, alcoholic stuff, I'll go in between and drink, drink this. Right. So that's me. And then you have the local hero, um, which is uh, non-alc IPA, mm -hmm. but it's going more towards uh, West Coast IPA. Okay. So when you say IPA, what does that mean? Um, Indian Pale Ale. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's a whole history with all that that I'm not going to get into. It's, it's, okay. it's too all deep. Right. Okay. It goes way back in the trade in of hops and okay. different things for in, between India. It's almost like a sommelier, and UK. sommelier for a beer. Is almost what you sound like. Well, listen, I, I am, I am, I am doing something along the lines of that. So That's great. I am definitely doing some along the lines of that. But this one um, is a more of a West Coast, so you can get more of those kind of piney uh, vibes. A um, little bit of resin sweetness behind it. Beautiful. Yeah. So n nice and easy to drink. Good. And, and the reason why I came up and talked to you, and because I walked by and I said, nice style. And I was like, okay, we take a picture. You said, sure. And I said, well, no, you sound like you have a story, and you do. You have a story. <laughs> we, so, have a, we have a story. So, here what do you now. say about the outfit? So, what, what, because I, I just vibe that. I am a, so seven, 70s. I'm a 70s guy. Love yeah. 60s, love 70s. That's all you're going to find in my wardrobe. Nothing really else. Um, today, I just thought, decided to wake up and do all brown, brown monochromatic, right? Okay. With cool. Different shades of brown, right? You gotta, and gotta and these are all it. vintage pieces, basically? Every, everything that you see, Even everything down jewelry. to the jewelry. This is not, this is from my wife. Mm -hmm. So, nice little message behind it. Don't look back, look, don't look back, but move forward. Nice, nice, so, nice. this I'll always wear no matter what. Nice. My wife good. gave this to me. It's not vintage, but this is not leaving my arm. All right, and, no matter what you're wearing, right? No matter what okay. I'm wearing, this is from her. So, yeah. Unless she takes it off. And then, listen, she's wearing, she wears one of my chains. So, the funny thing that you say that because we have change. So, this chain, I actually show you. So, it's all tied up right now. But there's this chain with a heart. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the yeah. little heart. So this yeah. was her grandmother's, oh. um, going back probably to the 50s, 60s. Where and did her grandmother gra grow up? Sorry. Where did her grandmother grow up? Um, in so we're we're from uh, Durham. Durham. Yeah. So my wife is um, from uh, Scarborough, yeah. Galloway. Um, so Galloway man, good old Galloway. I'm Scarborough. So oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So so you know that. I know. I know. You know. So I don't know if this is even being fixed right right now. It doesn't feel like it's, it's fixed, right. right? It's all right. But um, yeah, Galloway. So her background is Ukrainian and English. Right. So um, her what's her, yours? Mine's Jamaican. I'm from okay. Jamaica. Born in Jamaica. Are you born, born there? Born in Mobe. Where in Jamaica? Oh, you're, oh, you're a Mobe, Mobe boy. Okay. Mobe boy. You're a North Coast boy. <laughs> they, they, they like to say they like to say country for the Mobe, right? But I know. But I, we're not country. Kingstonians call everywhere else country. Every else country. Right? I'm, I'm close to Manila. I'm in Trelawney, like on the edge of Manchester. And okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Uh, my grandmother so forth lives near uh, like Little Putt. Yeah, Little Putt, like right near where the the. Um, the airport and so forth. It's probably like oh, 50 okay. minutes from the airport. All right, all right. Yeah, 50 minutes from the whole strip where there's uh, the like there's a golf course. Okay. And there's um, all the resorts like that whole strip. Oh, you're down. going towards your like I know there's a white horse or white house behind the airport. Yeah. Little village, fishing village. Yeah. Exactly. Like so going, in that direction. Yeah. Exactly. Going towards, going towards that. Trelawney, yeah. Um, there we go. No, this was this was bugging the heck out of me. <laughs> I know this is not. There we go. It's impressive that you can um, do that without looking. You're not even looking at what you're doing, but you can, you're can. you exactly getting it right. It's So I come from a lot of different backgrounds. Um, I do personal styling also. You do what? Personal styling. Okay, well, I can so see it. So I, I style uh, for men, women, so forth, have my own business um, that I do. So I'm wardrobe style, that I do. Okay. So, so at this point, tell us your IG so people can also follow you. It's, uh, it is, so I just started, it's Adrian. Uh, so my name's Adrian, um, A-List Styling on Instagram for the personal thing mm -hmm. um, that I will be rebranding, but also Adrian.TownBrewery for the brand ambassador page that I just started today. All right. Nice. So um, you can follow me there. You can see the backgrounds and nitty gritty that I will be doing at all these events. Follow me on the Adrian Town Brewery uh, one and you're gonna see what I'm doing. Brilliant. And don't, but finish the story about the, your wife and I talked about taking off. Where's your jewelry? Oh yeah, so the heart necklace that I have on, uh, that's from her grandmother. Right. Um, it's been around for quite a while. Her grandmother passed um, years back and she had a bunch of different jewelry. Mm -hmm. uh, always put this uh, heart with a lot of her clothing. So whenever she'd wake up, she'd just kind of just pick what clothing she wants to wear for the day. She's a teacher, All right, kindergarten right. teacher. She hates shopping, so I always picked her clothes out. Uh, put this together for her and always would put that heart together for her 
and I had a chain from my grandmother, a nice like Cuban link chain from Jamaica. Right. And I started wearing the heart uh, one uh, one day, and I wore it for weeks ahead of time. And then she's like, you know what? I want to wear your chain from your grandmother. So oh. we swap chains. So I have wear her grandmother. She wears my grandmother's. That's chain. brilliant. That's yeah. Brilliant. So we're always, you know, with each other at all, all given times. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, yeah. thank you for talking to me, man. Thank you very it's much. A pleasure. And thank and you for coming in and checking out Town yeah. Brewery, checking out Frank and Oak. Yeah. And um, you can always find the Town Brewery beers in uh, LCBO. Brilliant. All four of these beers are located in LCBO. Brilliant. Across the town. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, man. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm Douglas. And I live in the neighborhood, so I'll probably have I'll be passing by everybody. Uh, this is cool. All right, man. Have a good right, rest take of care, day. okay? Thanks. Take care. So here we are. We are at Queen Street West and Tecumseh. Right, and you can see it's Frank and Oak, which is like a clothing place, but then you know they've got the beer partnership going on, and so yeah, it's been a beautiful day. Tecumse, walking home. You know, it is warm, it's supposed to be like 24 degrees, but there's a breeze, and that's the thing about early summer or late spring is that this is a great alleyway of um, Euros that we're not gonna be today. Um, yeah. Yeah. I know, but like. Yeah, so it's um, comfortable, but if you go under shade, a bit chillier, cooler, and then if you go into the sun, it's pleasant. But it's again, it's not, it's, it looks like it's hot, hot, it's not hot, hot. So yeah, but in a couple of weeks, we will be sweltering and complaining. I'm not right now because this is actually nice. I was actually complaining that it was a bit too chilly, but it actually is, it's good. It's good. All right, there we are. Toronto. Stories of Toronto. Alright. Wait, he's waiting for us to cross. Well, this is a car And this is Rich Mund. I need to stop this coming. I got this all the way home. <laughs> 